What's going on guys, Waxcracker coming at you with another video, uh, part 3 of my unopened box collection, and this time we're going to cover baseball, for all my baseball fans out there, so I'm just going to get right into it. There's part 1 here, um, not really overall as organized as some of my other parts, um, even though some of the other parts of this section do need some better organization, anyway, I digress. So. Here we have 1990 Leaf Series 1 and 2. Uh, this is the inaugural Leaf Series. Uh, classic, awesome design. That's the base card design there. Landmark set. Really, really cool set. That was like the quote-unquote premium set back in the day. Um, Frank Thomas, Sammy Sosa, rookie cards were the big ones in there. Um, moving on. 97 score premium stock and hobby reserve. These are each essentially just like with the football parallel sets of the score base set this time obviously for baseball um, major difference these are white bordered these are gray bordered I'm pretty sure I got that right um, yeah so 97 Don Russ Elite that was the first ever issue of Elite still around today um, most primarily in football especially through Panini I mean only through Panini they own football, but anyway, 98, Don Elite, rare box there, got these, I'm not really sure, I can't find a whole lot on these online, um, these are some sport flicks from the uh, 94 season, this was a lockout season, so it was a shortened season, and you get, um, I, th I think they like made an entire set, and then after the lockout, they kind of panicked, and um, this is all assumption, and they just kind of dumped everything into these blasters. I'm not sure if these were sold at retail places, but you get three movers and shakers, including a Don Mattingly and a Ryan Sandberg, and those two alone are worth a combined like $25 blue, uh, book value, which I know book value doesn't really mean much, but I think they just kind of dumped everything in there. Um, All right, moving on. 2004 Cracker Jack... Uh, two hits and an expired package of Cracker Jacks. Um, I'm a fan of old school designs, old school sets. That's why I picked that up. Um, 05, I want to say, Don Russ Champions. There's a hit in every other pack. So there are 16, 24 packs. I'm sorry, a hit in every third pack. So you get eight hits in here. I think this was just kind of like a relic, an auto dump product by Don Russ. But it's hard to come by. Cool looking stuff. Um, eight hits, and I got it for a good price. So, 1998 SP Authentic. This is an awesome looking set. Um, boxes for this go for like $100 these days. I didn't even pay what that sticker says up there. Uh, you do get one auto. The difference between SP and SP Authentic. If you guys didn't know, maybe you didn't even realize there was a difference between the two. Um, SP rolled over into SP Authentic when they started including guaranteed autos in every box. Um, autos in here are all on card, and they look awesome, and the checklist is amazing in this product. Uh, 2006, Tops uh, 52, Heritage. Um, three autos per box. Again, I like old school products. All right, moving on down. Um, had a box of this that I showed you guys last video of my box, um, unopened collection. This is the baseball version of Emotion. You have two of them there. I'm probably going to open the one in the back one of these days because the one in the back is kind of jacked up. Only thing that's been deterring me from doing that is that in Emotion, every pack is a mini pack. So you have a cellophane wrapped mini box that you have to cut open. You open up the mini box and then inside of that mini box is a pack that you need to open up so it would be really time consuming. Um, but be on the lookout for that. I have an idea in mind on how to approach that. Um, UC3. This is a product that was meant to be I think premium um, back in the day. Actually, no, this was... I'm sorry, I'm getting this mixed up with another product I'm going to show you in a minute. UC3, uh, Lenticular card set. 
I really just like the packaging. I've opened a box of this before. I have two here. Really cool looking stuff. Um, 3D lenticular. Way back there is an 04 Chrome Baseball Hobby Box. I believe that's Series 1. I have six boxes here of 94 uh, Sportflix Rookies and Traded. I got an amazing deal on this lot. You can get some... Um, A-Rod Rookies are in here. This is the A-Rod's Rookie Year. And you can get A-Rod um, Artist Proof Parallels that are worth some huge money. Um, so I got a really good price on that lot, so I picked it up. Um, big fan of Limited. This right here, I can't keep it all straight, so I do apologize. I'm going to have to check this one out. 95, I want to say. Yep, yeah, 95. Leaf Limited. Every box is serial numbered, which is pretty cool. Uh, foil set. Cool looking stuff. 2005 Zenith Baseball. Three hits in there. Awesome product. Uh, best was a pretty um, obscure product, I guess. I don't know. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s. This uh, was more of a minor league type of product, prospect type of product. Um, so this is best autograph series. There is an auto in every pack, as you can see there. This is in um, some weird sort of extra box, by the way. And, um, yeah, got that for less than sticker price there. And I'm everything's on card, so that was cool. Tops embossed. Uh, same as the basketball product that I showed you in my last video. Um, only insert are the gold foils. Some random thing I got as a throw-in when I lived in Buffalo. There was a hobby shop I used to go to. Picked up a box and he threw this in. It's a retail box of 94 Bowman's Best. And then a bunch of packs of uh, Bowman baseball. Uh, Sport Flicks. Lenticular set. This is the um, hobby or the retail version of what I just showed you up top. Um, this is what I was confusing with that UC3, Tops Dimension 3. This was put out there as a premium attempt at the lenticular card niche by Tops back in 95. As you can see, it says Series 1 on there, um, insinuating that they were anticipating a Series 2. The product flopped so bad that Series 2 never came out. So this was the only one. I actually, way back, um, opened a box of this for you guys. So check that out. Um, yeah, flap of a product. Uh, the 3D cards looked good, but overall, the um, yeah, it wasn't done well. Just graded. Uh, Just Miners was a product that was may still be around. Actually, I'm not really sure, but it was around up until pretty recently. I believe Leaf actually acquired them back in 2013, 2014. Um, prospect product. This is Leaf just graded, so you get a graded card in every pack. One guaranteed auto in every box. So just a kind of a rare, obscure type of deal. Uh, 94 Sportflex Hobby, so just the hobby version of that. Crown Royale. Um, I'm a big fan of Crown Royale. Got this from a hobby shop out in Buffalo when I was going to school there. One of my first unopened boxes, actually. Um, just a random classic four sports set. I don't know what that's doing there. Like I said, I need to organize this. Down here, we got some junk. Um, probably really the only thing of note down here. Um, other than this back here, this is actually a hand collated set of 76 tops baseball, so that's cool. Um, when we were looking for houses moving back to Rochester, I picked this up. This is actually a box that is um, a card that either has um, game used dirt, or base, or something like that in there. I got it for like five bucks at Wegmans. Those of you who are aware of Wegmans, best grocery store ever. Um, so yeah, that was pretty cool. That's my first memory of coming back home. So. That's really sentimental. All right, moving on, guys. And it goes on. Screenplays Baseball, lenticular set. Each box comes with a complete set of cards. Uh, they come in these circular kind of tins. And in addition to the complete set, you do get one insert per box. Um, 
I believe the insert set was five cards. Super unique, super cool. Again, love the lenticular stuff. Moving on. This um, super obscure, weird Tops product here. 2005 Pack Wars. So it's like a card game where every pack contains some cards and somehow the game plays out where the winner gets the hit in the pack. There's a hit in every pack. There are seven packs in a box. Um, so you get a hit in every pack. I think it's like five relics, two autos, something like that. 05 Tops Gallery. Um, I like it. I'm a fan of Gallery. A lot of people who are a fan of Gallery don't like 05. Whatever. 98 Leaf Fractal Materials. All sorts of weird base cards in there. You got like a, um, acetate cards, cards made out of nylon, cards made out of wood. It's basically like a set um, derived from the 98 Leaf series. Super cool. 96 Leaf Limited. This is probably the toughest Leaf uh, Limited baseball set to find from back in the day. S super weird looking packaging there. All right, in the box in the back here, I have three boxes of 2001 Leaf Limited. Got an awesome deal on a three-box lot of this way back. 2001 being uh, Ichiro's rookie year, Albert Pujols rookie year, and you do get hits in every box. Um, it's a definitely a high-risk, high-reward product. You can, for lack of a better term, uh, knock it out of the park, or you can just completely waste your money. That's why I leave them sealed. Flare, awesome product, always has been, always will be. Uh, 96 Hobby Box there. In the back, 87 Flare, cool product, landmark product, pretty iconic. Uh, 97 Select Certified, or Pinnacle Certified is what it was called in 97. In the back there, that's 2001 Flare Tradition Baseball. Bunch of Jeter and A-Rod rookie years down here, plus some other stuff. So we have uh, two boxes back there of um, 93 Bowman Jumbo. Let's see if I can make some room for you guys to see this without destroying it. Uh, Jeter's rookie year. Jumbo box of 93 Upper Deck. Again, Jeter. This box I actually got for $10 not that long ago. Brought it home. The uh, reason I bought it was because I knew there was a uh, Jeter Prospect card in here. Front Row was a very short-lived product. Did basketball, baseball, maybe football. And, um, yeah, like I said, Jeter Prospect card. Paid 10 bucks. Brought it home. Saw that the cheapest I could find this at the time was $80 a box. So that was awesome. Um, get like Jeter Gold. I think there, there's even uh, a chance of a Jeter, Jeter Auto in there. 2004 Bowman's Best hitting every other pack. Got that for uh, way cheaper than what it normally sells for. 94 Leaf Limited Rookies. Again, boxes are serial numbered. These are A Rod uh, rookie year products. Another A Rod product here Flare Series 2 from 94. First issue of 90, of uh, Bowman Chrome, this is 1997, awesome set, I think it's really well done, holds up today, lots of big rookies in there, if I remember right, uh, Cole Hamels, it's hard to keep it all straight, but awesome product, I might open up a box of that for you guys in the future. And moving on to the floor, where the mess is. Got my 2005 Topps Giant Double XL box here. Got this for like five bucks at Dave and Adams Card World back when I first moved to Buffalo. The uh, these these don't talk anymore. I got these from a local antique shop. Never underestimate your antique shops, your thrift sh uh, shops, um, anything like that. You can find some cool stuff. This is not an example of that cool stuff you can find, but I did pick this up here, up there for like three bucks. So just kind of an obscure, cool thing. Um, bunch of uh, junk wax sets here, except for the bottom one. 
the bottom one there is a set of, if I remember right, 2001. So you'll have your uh, Fleur Tradition. So you'll have your pool holes, each row rookies in there. Uh, two vending boxes of 87 tops. Um, notoriously overproduced, but um, classic design. 88 tops Tiffany. That's cool. Tops Tiffany um, was made in the 80s and early 90s. It was basically a classy parallel set, um, much more limited in production. Moving on. This video is taking longer than I wanted it to. 96 Zenith. Uh, 2000 Black Diamond Rookie Edition. Black Diamond is always a good looking product. Obscure products here. Um, double headers. You have a. The rookie card of the player on one side, and on the other is the 89 tops. Obscure looking stuff that all comes top loaded. 06 Upper Deck Future Stars. Um, five rookies on acetate. Autographed per box. Signature rookies. Auto in every pack. Nothing great in this box, but on card autos. 97, Pinnacle Select. And. Yep, 97. So, Series 1 and 2 there. Um. Box of Stadium Club this year, 97. Stadium Club is one of my favorite Stadium Club designs. I don't know why, I just like the, the design. Cool stuff. Um, 2007, SP Authentic. Boomer Bust type of product. Didn't pay a lot for that box, so. 93 Score Jumbo or Super Pack. Uh, Jeter Rookie in there, hopefully. And 93 Flair, big rookie in there, is uh, Mike Piazza, can't remember who else. And then on the bottom of that is Box of 95 Select. Moving on. This is just a, it's a semi, so it's a fan growing up, found this in Wegmans. I think the same day I got that other box, so that was cool. Um, Pinnacle Mint, 98, same as the football in the last box. Couple boxes of gold label, big fan of gold label. 2000 gold label and 2002 gold label. Box of 2015 Stadium Club, Chris Bryant rookie year. You guys might know I'm a Cubs fan. Uh, 2005 Tops Chrome. I think this might be a retail box because all the hobby ones I see have mini boxes and multiple autos. 86 Donruss. Next four boxes here are um, 90, I'm sorry, yeah, 99 Bowman Chrome, Series 1 and Series 2. Couple big rookies in there, Josh Hamilton, CC Sabathia. Um, Pinnacle Aficionado, a lot of people don't know that Aficionado basketball that came out in 1617 was not a first run. It was a one year product back in 96 for baseball. Cool looking stuff. Six boxes there of Leaf Preferred. Metal set on um, actual metal cards. Super cool. Alright. Bear with me while I stack everything back up here. Got a little more to show you guys. I appreciate you hanging in there. As always, guys, if you ever want any more information on anything or want me to open anything, if anything interests you, let me know. I will be more than happy to open some more stuff up for you guys. Um, and to give you some more info. That's what I'm here for. All right. Last stack here. Of course, I had to get this. Nothing really to write home about. Tops 2016 World Series Cubs box or set. This right here is an all um, rip card set. They're jumbo packs, uh, big packs, and every card in the jumbo pack is a rip card. You can rip it open or you cannot. Um, this stuff's tough to find. I haven't been able to find any more. 
I would like to find another box so I can actually do it. Um, because I like to leave an, uns an, yeah, an unopened box in my collection. Um, but yeah, it, it looks fun. 97 Leaf Limited Baseball. Again, odd design, cool stuff. This is a box of some promo packs of 2015 Tops. Let's grab a random pack out here to show you guys. And they're all four card, just clear packs. And they got one more box hiding down there. And top shoe box. I did a mail day for that a while ago. Um, it's a set of reprints. Um, and then four originals that are come down in a screw down type of deal. Tristar. Um, Grand Treasures, I guess, graded card. Um, ten packs, and every pack you get a BCCG graded card, and you're looking for some different stuff in there. And the last pack, your box, another Jeter Prospect product down here. If I can get it up here. Classic Prospects. You can get a Jeter. That's from 92, I believe. And then the only stuff I haven't shown you from baseball, I did a box break of this way back. 2005 Bowman's Best. Awesome looking product. Tons of autos. 09 Gaudi. And I do believe that's it, guys. Um, be on the lookout for more videos. And as always, guys, get cracking.